So I ended up getting a comment on one of my previous videos of somebody asking me how do I obtain so many legendary ether tools and also according to YouTube Studio it's one of the most researched or searched topics I should say in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So I figured we'd go through all the ways that I know of today and then I'm also going to tell you guys how you can obtain the schematics. So what's up everybody welcome back to the channel if y'all don't know my name is Ghost I appreciate everybody stopping on by the video today if you guys like zombies content or are into anything Call of Duty please do consider dropping the video a like and subscribing to the channel man we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough. Now one of the easiest and number one ways that I find these things is just by honestly going into the red tier zone and having death perception on so I can easily see those ether crates through the walls. Just make sure you're checking all the boxes that you find inside of the red tier zone because these things always have a really high chance of having ether tools in them and I find legendary ones all the time. Now I know most of you guys know this but if you destroy those floating harvesting orbs that you can see in the sky those things are always going to drop you a ether tool. Now if you're in either the second tier zone or the red zone you're going to have a higher chance of getting a higher rarity ether tool i'm going to be putting a map up on the screen here so you guys can see where all of these things like to spawn now there is two of them that like to spawn inside of the red tier zone and these ones usually have a higher chance of dropping you a legendary ether tool and big shout out to mwzhub.gg for putting together these interactive maps there's going to be a link down in the description if you guys want to go check those out now the third way to get yourself some legendary ether tools is just by doing contracts in the red tier zone now for me personally i kind of find doing the first two ways a little bit easier and I find it uh, a lot more luck in getting myself some legendary ether tools just by finding them inside of the uh, crates and getting them from the orbs I have a lot more luck doing it that way but you are able to obtain them by doing the tier 3 contracts that also goes for doing contracts inside of the dark ether as well if you're doing contracts in here they do have more of a chance of dropping you legendary ether tools and just being out on the main map now if you guys are looking to get the schematic for this thing which is honestly one of the best schematics that you can find because not only is the cooldown for this thing not completely ridiculous it is a little bit long but it's only 24 hours so you guys can honestly keep crafting and farming yourself up some legendary ether tools but in order to get your hands on this thing you're gonna have to complete the red worm fight if you guys aren't 100 sure how to set this thing up i do have other videos up on the channel that goes through all the steps for that i'm gonna be putting a map up on the screen here right now so just so you guys can see exactly where the boss fights spawn where all of the uh usb sticks are so hopefully this makes that just a little bit easier but once you guys obtain this command for this thing it's really easy to just continuously keep farming yourself up some legendary ether tools just be sure not to leave them in your rucksack so that way they don't have a chance of disappearing as i've heard from some other people in the community so if i were you guys be sure to craft these things and then throw them inside of your rucksack and also if you don't plan on jumping on modern warfare zombies for the day just don't leave these things ready to craft it's easy to just jump on for two minutes craft it throw it inside of your rucksack and go jump off do whatever else you, you were gonna do for the day and then that cooldown timer is already started and it's getting ready to get you your next one so yeah not only are these things some of the most powerful things in the game but they're honestly really easy to farm up and get yourself a nice built up stash anyways i think that's going to wrap up the video for now really do hope that it helps some of you guys out and uh, if you guys are enjoying the content please do consider dropping that like and uh, subscribing to the channel man we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers like i said earlier and honestly lately you guys have just been blowing me away with how much support that i've been receiving on the channel so i cannot honestly i cannot thank you guys enough it does mean the world to me but yeah also i'm going to be working on the second second tips and tricks video by you guys so if you guys know any tips and tricks on modern warfare 3 zombies and you'd like to leave them down in the comment section please do do that hope everybody has an awesome day and i will catch you in the next one